Hello everyone and welcome to this um, quick, well, it's a tutorial for how to install Windows 98 on VMware Workstation 16 Pro. So before we get started, we need to make sure we have a few things. Um, first of all, we need the ISO because that's what we're going to boot out of. So I already have it over here. Um, but you need to make sure, um, so the link is in the description for the download as well as for the product key because we do need the product key and um, yeah, actually that's basically it. So link will be in the description for those and without further ado, let's get started. So in the VMware Workstation 16 Pro, um, you need to click on create a new virtual machine, select typical and then just find the ISO. So I already have it ready. Um, so just select that uh, and then select browse to browse it and then just select next. Um, leave it as it is and I'm just going to quickly change the location. Um, I have a dedicated one. So in there, click next, leave it at eight gigabytes. Um, and then when you're on here, click customize hardware and then give it so, um, a little bit more RAM. Um, I would recommend not going above one gigabyte because Windows 98 has a problem where it doesn't really like it if there's more than one gigabyte. I don't think it'll boot if there's more than that. So I'm just gonna go with 512 megabytes and then click close and then click finish. Wait for it to load and it should bring us over here. And then we simply click power on this virtual machine. So make sure you click into here now, um, click into the virtual machine, wait for it to boot. And over here, um, press the down arrow and then click boot from CD-ROM by pressing enter. Press enter again on start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Wait for it to load. Um, so it's gonna bring us into this blue, like, blue terminal screen like one, like this. So what we do is we just click enter, configure allocated disk space. So click enter for that. Um, and since I do have a large disk, so I wanna do enable large disk support. So press the down arrow and then click enter and then click enter. And it should, okay. So now we have to boot from CD-ROM again and do the same things as before. And now what it'll do is I think it'll format the C drive if I'm not right, if I'm not wrong. Yep, there you go. So this might take a few, maybe just half a minute or even a minute. It won't take that long, but I will just speed up this process. Okay, so it's almost done now and it should um, ask us. Okay, so now we just have to click enter and now it'll drop us into the setup, I'm pretty sure. Once it does this, yep, here you go. Um, so it made that little beep and it won't take 30 to 60 minutes. I mean, like this is new hardware. It might only take like 10 minutes at most. So just click continue and just let it do its thing. Um, leave it as C Windows and uh, just let it do the thing it wants to do. So um, we gave it eight gigabytes, so pretty sure that's gonna be more than enough. Uh, once you're on this one, select typical because I, we don't need to go on. Um, leave it as install the most common components uh, give it a computer name. I'm just going to name it Windows 98 and leave it as work group. I'm, you don't need to enter in a description. I'm just going to say Windows 98 and then click next. Okay, so this isn't really necessary because like I'm pretty sure this is for like MSN because I don't even think it's even like, uh, but I'm still going to select my country. So just do that. And then this will now copy the files. So, um, you can just read these things on here. Um, 
and at the bottom down here it should have the file copy process when it starts and you can see by the way the estimated time remaining is already 24 minutes now so it's going pretty fast so um, the file copy process might take a minute or two it won't be that long as it says right here over here but um, I'll be back in a minute or so Okay, so now it's almost done. As you can see, it's 98% and it says thank you for um, using this. Oh, and by the way, we will soon need the product key. So um, when you come up with this, just click restart now. And you don't need to select if you want to boot from hard disk or anything, it'll just automatically boot from the hard disk. Okay, so over here, what you can do is you can just enter your name. You don't need to worry about the company. So I'll just enter my name and then click next. Um, you need to accept the agreement. If you want, you can read it, but uh, okay. So just accept it and then click next. And this is where we will need the product key. So um, again, link is in the descriptions, but what I will do is I will just get the product key. So notepad um let me just make it a little smaller okay so i just did like that because notepad would only make me disappear and basically you'll have the same one but it should work hopefully other one i don't want to go search up some more but um oh and by the way don't use this for professional use otherwise you're technically pirating this which is in my case illegal if you're using this for personal use then i guess it's okay which i am going to but if um i'm pretty sure no one's going to be using it for enterprise but um don't use this method just get a genuine key so now that we've done that um, we can close this full screen this and um, click inside this and then click next hopefully it'll work okay it does and then click finish and it'll bring us back into the setup wizard hopefully yep here you go um, so, um, now it's, um, I think it's doing plug and play hardware. Um, so it will say, oh, look, it says it right down here. It says setup will now detect your computer's hardware and may, and may restart your computer. If your computer stops responding for a long time, turn it off and then back on this will like, there's a 1% chance that this will happen since again, this is new hardware that we are running this on even in a virtual machine. So it's very unlikely that this will happen. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. I doubt it'll freeze up. Even if it does stop, just be patient and it'll finish in just a minute or so. So let it do its thing and you'll see. Okay, so now it's detecting the plug and play devices. Um, and then after that, it might restart. So I might just, really quickly just um, fast forward. Okay, so we've almost completed. As you can see, it says 10 minutes remaining, but it won't even be that. 98% um, complete and um, should be done by now. Okay. So now it's doing the same thing again. So, um, decide to do a thing, uh, um, let it do its thing. And, um, in a bit, I think there will be like a pop-up over here, which will set up things like the control panel in the start menu. And it might even ask you for a time zone, I think. So, um, just be ready for that. Okay, so now what we need to do is just click restart now. I honestly thought it was going to take longer, so yeah, um, but should shut down now. And then it should boot back up. Oh, and by the way, um, we are also going to try and install VMware tools. I don't know how that will go because this is an old operating system, so hopefully it'll work. 
I don't know if it'll actually change the resolution or anything, but hopefully it'll at least add better color support or something, I don't know. Okay, so now it should ask, okay, so now it's back to the same thing. Um, so, um, decides to do its thing, let it do its thing. Okay, this is what I was talking about now. And I see one really funny thing. It doesn't have 2022, it only is 22 because like <laughs> Y2K, I think. Okay, so we'll just scroll down and select your time zone and then click apply and then okay. And let it set up the rest of the things. So control panel is the settings thing. Uh, let it do that. And system configuration, I think, is the longest one. I think that might take a few minutes. Actually kind of cool. It looks like a drum roll kind of thing because it has a drum and everything. But, yep, okay, now it's on here. Yep, this is what I was talking about. So this might take a little, maybe just a minute or so, but when it's done, it should boot, uh, it should restart for the last time and then bring us into the desktop. Okay, so I think this is the last restart. As you can see, it says less than a minute now, so that really went quick if you looked at the time. It's fast for it was fast forwarded, so it might have gone down quicker than actual. But it's only been I think ten minutes since we started, but it said it would take um, half an hour to an hour, so pretty impressive actually, considering we're in a virtual machine as well. So I think this is the last restart. It should come up with one more updating system settings, and then it'll ask us for a password for our computer, and then it will log us on. And then after that, we'll try and install VMware tools. So as you can see now, it should start updating system settings for the last time, hopefully. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that's not, okay. Um, so what you can do is you can just enter in a password. This will be, uh, this will be your, um, uh, password for Windows, so. Okay, um, let me just try and re-enter this. And click okay, okay, there you go. So now it'll just try and find some hardware probably. Yep, the monitor and everything. So it'll only run, okay, see, look, this is what I'm talking about. And then it should bring us into Windows 98, hopefully. Okay, there we go. That's Windows 98. So now we can see the welcome to Windows 98 um, thing, I think. Yep, it is welcome to Windows 98. Uh, just let this go through. We can't close it. I don't, the, the close button is grayed out. But while it's doing this, now what we can do is we can install VMware tools. So basic, okay, let's just actually go through here first. Um, Installing VMware tools, you just click VM at the top and then install VMware tools. So just let it go through its thing. It's um, The animation is a bit um, slow and wonky. I don't know why. I think it might be because of the graphics. I don't think I gave it a lot of memory for graphics. Or it might just be the way it's designed, I don't know. But um, just a few more seconds and it'll just get um, show Microsoft Windows 98 and get smaller, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so... Um, Looks pretty nice. I think, um, I hopefully VMware tools will be able to change the resolution because that would be great if it could. I don't know though. Even the colors, if it could change, maybe make the colors a little more vibrant then that would also be good. But I don't know, this is an old operating system so we don't know how much it'll do. So let's just see. Um, it's getting smaller now, so it's almost done. Okay. Uh, come on, I'm gonna close it. You can just skip this part if you like. Okay, now we should be able to close it. Yep, okay, close. Okay, so now what we can do is we can install VMware tools. That's the last part of the video. So install VMware tools. Um, just click yes. 
just click yes on that and then it should start the installation automatically yep there you go i'm impressed that it's already started but we don't know how much it, um how much how many things it'll do you can see that the desktop icons are a bit um yeah okay it's almost done hopefully okay there you go so now it's preparing to install just let it load and just click next now next typical next i really hope it'll work okay just let that luda do its thing and we have to restart it once it does its um thing once it installs it i actually had an issue with windows 98 where um it wouldn't actually install like it would ask me to manually install the driver but even that didn't work it had like a notes txt oh okay um just click yes over here and then uh okay just click okay and then click finish over here and yep we'll have to restart so just click yes and it should restart hopefully i really hope that the screen resolution will get bigger although i don't have high hopes now because it hasn't already gotten bigger it should have gotten bigger by now so I don't, um i think i'll try to manually do it from inside the system but that won't really do the whole monitor which is kind of sad honestly but we'll try our best there might also be something in the view over here like stretch guest maybe but you can um you can mess around with that Okay, so it should now, okay, so just, I didn't even think you knew enter in your password, but okay, um, the beep, I don't know what the beep is for, but like, okay, um, I don't know if you noticed, but as you can see, the background especially, and all of the other icons and everything, they've gotten much more vibrant, which is good, that means VMware Tools have, has done its thing unfortunately it hasn't made the screen resolution bigger i'm gonna try and do that manually so settings let's try this apply okay i think that's as big as it might get no i don't think it'll work um okay but this is good this means we've actually um we've actually done it nice so um it's got a lot of things recycle bin let's just have a quick look around and then i'll just end this video i'm pretty sure it's already going like 15 minutes long or something i don't know uh it's pretty interesting i like this feature i don't know why they stopped doing that but yeah um yeah nice okay so um i guess this is it now um this is where you do whatever you wanted to do with Windows 98, and that's why you came to this video. So, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you'll watch some of my other videos. That would mean a lot to me, um, Windows 98. <laughs> um, so, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.